Man, what an absolutely gorgeous look at Astera. What is up, people? It is me, Monster58, and welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter World. Previously, we took down Nargakuga as we searched for more Valkana tracks in the ancient forest, a monster that has made its way to the new world due to some other external factor. Despite the couple last atrocious fights in the last couple episodes, I really hope that today will be different. So, as I told you, we're going to be taking on the monster known as Glavinus. So, I definitely recommend you have a water weapon, and I definitely recommend you have the fireproof mantle on you. So, let's talk to the handler. And now with Glavinus in the waste, things are really getting interesting around here. So we're going to take all these, grab those. Um, let's see. Let's oven roast real quick here. And this is actually my second take of this because, unfortunately, I am an absolute numpty. And my lord, the fight, I, I did not, I could not do that fight very well. I was like, I was just not having a good time. Just not having a good time. Despite me loving this monster... I don't know what was what's up with me today because I'm recording these episodes back to back, and so I'm just like in a position where like I don't know why it's you know it's just one of those days where like you just cannot play correctly. Gotta have a sharp mind if you want to best a monster with a sharp tail. Be careful out there, pard. So my apologies for not being able to do these efficiently as possible. You know I I really wish I could. I'm I'm just not super good at this game. <laughs> I am I am not perfect at this game. I am not a Monster Hunter veteran. I can say I'm a Monster Hunter World veteran, though. It's the only thing I can take claim to, so. But as we get into this fight, this also happens to be one of my favorite monsters in the entire game. I'm so used to fighting this thing, too, and I don't know what came over me. Um, I fought this thing plenty of times, so it's, you know, in my main file. Like, this is a monster that I am very, very familiar with, so I don't know what came over me in the last take. Uh, my first take of the day for with this episode, so. And even in the last couple episodes, so I apologize for that. Like, damn, uh, I don't mean to show you guys that I suck, but I do. I'm not. I'm not very good at this game, even though I played it for nearly a thousand hours. Um, I still try my best to learn. You know, watch videos, everything like that. You know, just practice and practice, because one of those things about this game is just practicing. But yeah, um, like me, by the way, picking up these, like you'll notice, I'll just walk by and pick up, you know, mining out crops or, uh, you know, uh, how do you say, it? like mining out crops or bone piles or anything like that. I definitely recommend if you're heading off to a quest to just do stuff like that, because at the end of the day, there are going to be many situations uh, you'll have, and I think everyone's run into the situation where like you're trying to craft a weapon trying to make a set of armor all of a sudden you need one last material of something and it happens to be a bone or an ore and then you're like you're literally one short and you're like really i have to go all the way out to wherever the hell just to get the freaking thing you know the one material that you're missing always feels bad to be in a position like that so Definitely try not to put yourself in that position. It's inevitable that it'll happen at some point, but yeah. The other reason, by the way, I'm bringing these dual blades is because you can take advantage of this area because there is a lot of sliding attacks. As you guys know with the hammer, I love to take advantage of that, so.
Another Brute Wyvern and one of my favorite monsters to boot, welcome to Glavinus. Not only is he a big Brute Wyvern, he also has a massive sword for a tail that also can catch on fire, so be ready for that. This guy can be quite tough, but I don't feel he's a roadblock monster per se. Weak to water, uh, dragon and ice are neutral, resist thunder, and is immune to fire. Head and tail are the weak points, and the tail is severable, but good luck cutting that tail off. The main gimmick with this guy is that massive sword he has for a tail. This is his primary method of attacking, and seeing that he is slightly larger, Larger than Anjanath, this guy has a lot of range. A lot of range also means this guy has very large hitboxes. You can try and cut the tail off to reduce the damage his attacks do, but it takes a really long time to cut it off. The main attack to watch out for is when he sharpens his own tail by biting it and also setting it on fire. This is essentially like a wind up, and then he'll essentially release his tail and spin himself forward like a Beyblade, doing a massive amount of damage with the tail and also a massive area you know around him. He also has attacks where he'll swipe fire at you from his tail not only with the tail hitting you do damage but also the fire itself um also he breathes fire on himself obviously to en engulf the sword tail in flames don't think uh his tail is is all he is though uh he is a brute wyvern after all these guys have lots of different attacks so he can jump at you he can side slam you he can bite you he can breathe fire at you uh, the last major thing to worry about is that he can set his own tail on fire obviously like i've been mentioning use it like a flaming sword it'll do increased damage and will cause you to catch on fire but also slightly more tender so it is softer and easier to hit that way so if you do want to try and cut off the tail aim for the moments when it's tender when it is on fire understand his sword tail combos because he does a lot of them and he swings around and you should be okay but get careless and you can easily get wombo combo or one shot so just be very careful with this guy other than that i don't find it awfully frustrating but certainly can knock you out very easily if you're not prepared Alrighty, welcome to Glavinus, everybody. Let's do our best. Um, I'm gonna try my best to not be an absolute idiot this fight. Should go right into that wall. Very nice. And now I figured out that you need three, um... Tenderizes here to actually get this tender, because it's a tough tail. Nice, okay, that's okay. That's the reason we wear this thing. Okay. I'm okay with that, and then we'll go for it now. Nice, we got the tail tenderized. Now I'm going to see if I can knock this thing into a wall one last time. Oh, come on. Get I need to watch my stamina. Oh, now it's... Okay, I can't I can't see myself. I don't want to do anything here. Yep, rather be safe than sorry. Um Oh, it did. Nice. Let's go. Okay, I did not know if it would hit the wall. All right. Well, we're going to go for the tail, but this is going to take a minute. Yeah, it's angry now. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. So we stopped doing that. Okay. Very, very good. Ouch. So the other thing I'd never mentioned is when it does that wind up attack, you can absolutely, um, while it's still charging itself, like it's still got its mouth on its tail, you can absolutely do a thing where if you hit it hard enough, it will get a free knockdown. It's kind of like if you hit Anjanath in the face when he has, when he's like spitting fire at you. Same, same concept. All right, that, that cycle went a lot better than it did in the previous recording, so... All right, let's see if I can actually take advantage of all the sliding areas here to try and knock this thing down or just do a lot of damage to it. Come on, buddy. You and me. Like that. That's stuff I wanted. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh. Okay, that was my bad.
nice. I actually dodged it. These sliding attacks are actually helping a lot. Yep, throw that on. Immediately remove the fire. Oh, that was dumb. Very nice. No, it's not tenderized, but it's tender. Did we get it? Oh, we got it. Oh, my God. I can't believe we got it. Let's go, dude. That's going to be pissed. So that will significantly reduce the amount of damage this tail does. Yep. He usually does that twice. Someone's mad. Oh, and it's Diablos is angry. It got angry because of the loud noises. So that was nice. We actually got some a free knockdown on this thing. I absolutely should be tenderizing right now, but I'm an idiot, so. Nice, Diablos is here. Okay, nice. So this is the turf war I was talking about. Get ready. Imagine picking up Diablos by the neck. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I hate my life for doing that. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't get the... <laughs> That's one of the greatest fails I've done. So, oh my god. I hate my life. I actually hate my life for doing that. I completely for... <laughs> an idiot yes I am oh my god okay by the way we have to carve the tail after this cycle nice hey that's not bad though Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, crap. Well, there's no more walls to knock this guy into, so that's unlucky. Shoot. Very nice. now. Ooh. Ooh -wee. A little bit close there, eh? I just turned Canadian, and that was probably the worst Canadian accent in the history of ever. I'm sorry, I've been playing freaking... Um, I want to play Canada and Civ lately, so... Civ is, like, a one of my favorite, like, single-player, like, games. Like, I, I always play Civ 
I usually play a lot of Civ. But hey, regardless, I'm just get off. Uh, oh no no. Oh no! Don't get stunned. Don't you dare get stunned. If I got stunned there, would have there would have been riots, dude. War crimes. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Let's go. Oh, I was hoping, I, I was really hoping to shoot him in the face. Oh, that's unlucky. Completely whiffed. If you do want to make this fight easier, definitely one of the things that you can absolutely do is make the Rathalos armor. That is absolutely viable here. Okay, that could have been better, but we were able to get some good damage off on it, got a knockdown on it, so I'm okay with that. And yes, by the way, uh, very unfortunately, his tail is definitely a good chunk of his gear. A good chunk of his gear requires his tail, so you're going to have to cut it off. Um, and, and again, I think it just helps in the fight in general. It's it's just better to try to cut it off at the end of the day, despite it being pretty tough. I, I know I didn't make it look tough to cut off, but if you're not using, like, water, um, water greatsword, you know, water longsword, something like that, this thing, it, it'll hurt, you know, and it'll take a while to actually cut off, so um, just be aware of that. I'm going to temporal here. I think it shouldn't be. I hope it's not angry anymore. No, it actually isn't perfect. This is a great area, too, to get free knockdowns. Very nice. Now we can actually... I'm going to go for the face here, actually. Nice, that should... Oh, I thought that would yield and... Oh, now it's actually just angry. I thought at least it wouldn't be angry. Oh, I, I, I dodged into that. That was my bad. I absolutely dodged into that. One thing I haven't done this... Ooh. Crap. That was close. Oh, come on. That was close. That should have been a mount. I'm not gonna lie to you. Nice. Broke his face, I think. And I think right here... There we go. Nice. You can also break his, uh, the horns on his back and stuff like that, like the spikes. Excuse me, those wouldn't be horns. Horns are on the head. Um, you can break all these spikes as well. A better way to do that is obviously mounting him, but is uh, a hammer is way better at doing this. Also, greatsword is not really particularly bad for this guy. Um, if you want to make a water greatsword, I believe the uh, Koro Puke Puke has one. You can do that as well. Even the Jirotodus one can work here. Nice, we got a lot of damage off there. Oh, that was close. Oh, wait. He's, he's not in rage anymore. Perfect timing.
Nice, we had, wow, we caught him, I believe we caught him mid, like, hop and reposition, and we were able to get a free knockdown on him because of that. Very nice. The only issue with this guy is despite us actually doing pretty consistent damage, I think, my lord, this guy has a lot of health. All these brute wyverns and even like all the brute wyverns have a lot of health, uh, and that includes like especially you'll notice this if you guys fight Oregon right now, you'll you'll definitely see that. Also, I believe I know the. Oh yeah, the next couple. Uh, yeah, next couple of monsters. I already know which ones we're fighting. Alright, now these two don't have a turf war because uh, in the food chain I believe that a Glavness is just stronger in the food chain, so. Um, one thing you can take advantage of though. Let's see if we can do this. I don't think I've shown this off though. Hold on. I've been shown this off. Yet. Okay, that's not. I mean, that's fine. No, that's not crap. What is Glavinus even hitting over there? Oh, he was blinded too. I guess I did blind him. Ouch. What I want to do. Yep, that's what I was going to do. Okay. So what you can do, I don't think I've ever shown that off, is you can actually flint shot monsters into other monsters getting free knockdowns. God, this is just a cluster. I really need to actually get rid of Rathian. Well, it doesn't matter anyway at this point. Ow. Hey! You go away. I ain't, I ain't trying to actually fight you anymore. Alright, sharpen. We'll reapply buffs real quick. And we'll head into the rest of the fight with Glavin. Hey, you! Go the hell away. Get out. Alright. That. So this thing's limping already. I don't even remember it dropping Slinger, but I don't really care. I just want to kill it. Nice. Nice and angry. Oh, come on. I couldn't get the full effect of that. Rathian. You know what? Give me some slinger. There, nice. We got some free slinger off that. Ouch. That's okay. Oh, I guess it's okay, so I guess it's giving up. I completely missed, that sucks. Not trying to get poisoned and put on fire at the same time.
Ouch. Wow, I haven't seen him do that in a very long time. I know I'm going to poison myself. I don't care. Very nice. Okay. Glavinus. I think that fight went much better than the last ones. There we go. Okay. I'll be killing a few of these guys in between these, this episode and next episode. Because I definitely want this guy's armor set. Because it's really freaking amazing. And I'll definitely show it to you here. Alrighty, Glavinus. But yeah, this guy is by far probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite design in the entire game. There's one more monster that edges this guy out. This guy's number two. There's there's a number one, um, but we won't be encountering number one for a long time. I'll still say it'll be way until maybe episode, I don't know, 70 or something like that. 70, 80, I don't know. It'll be a long time before we get to the next guy um, that I really, really absolutely love. So, Glavinus, everybody. I would have cried if we got a mantle on the first hunt. Very nice. Halfway through Valkana. to assess the situation with my own eyes but resources are running scarce our duty is to research the ecosystem and maintain balance with it however if the entire new world freezes over that would mean hmm, evacuation hmm. hey Aren't we part of the ecosystem, too? Oh. Chief! Maybe it's because I was born here, but that's how I see it. By the look on everyone's face, I'm sure you all feel the same way. You've seen how these monsters fight each other. They're out there fighting tooth and nail. It's survival of the fittest. I'm a product of the new world, and I won't leave it behind. If you all feel the same way, then fight for this world! I can't leave yet. Not when there's work to be done. Same here. I got some unfinished business. Then let's fight as part of this ecosystem, as hunters of the new world! <laughs> I need to prep at Celiano. Stay here and hold down the fort. I'm at peace with my decision to live out the rest of my days here. After all these years with the commission, I'd forgotten the struggle for survival applies to us just as much as any monster. I won't lose sight of that again. Now, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Our teams in the Rotten Vale and Elder's Recess have spotted a Tigrex and a Brachydeos. And judging from the tracks we've seen, Valkana is heading for one of those locales as well. Valkana's approach must have provoked them somehow and lured them out of their usual habitats. Let's focus on those two for now, but I still need you to keep looking for traces of Valkana along the way. We need to pinpoint its exact location. Our targets are Tigrex and Brachydeos. Keep your eyes peeled for any Valkana tracks along the way. So, with our... Hey, guild card, get away. Um, delete. So, with our guild... With our guild... With our next objectives in tow being Tigrex and Brachydeos as our next two monsters that we're going to be fighting, 
I will end off there as we've taken down. Actually, hold on. We took down Glavinus. I need to show you guys the armor we're going to be making because it's freaking sick. And plus, I'm going to tell you this right now. You're going to see me come out with a ton of canteen, ton of Glavinus weapons. Uh, the Glavinus weapons, they, I don't think they're necessarily all the best, but my lord, they look freaking amazing. There's three in particular I got to show you. All right, forge equipment. Let's take a look at the next armor we're going to be getting because this is, this dude, this is sick. Look at that, man. That is amazing. That is some of the coolest armor. There's not much of a difference between the alpha and the beta sets, but my lord, those are fantastic. Like, look. Look at those. Those are so sick, man. The, that, that armor set's glorious. And then, like I told you guys, we got some armor, right? So, or we got some uh, weapons, right? Actually, let's go to the Palico real quick. Show you the Palico equipment for the Glavinus. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. You got the spikes on the back. The weapon's really cool. Uh, did I show the Diablo set? I guess the Diablo set. Yeah, that's okay. Um, but let's take a look at the uh, the armor or the weapons, guys. I keep saying armor. Here's let's. Where's the great sword? Because I know the great sword's cool. Um, where is it? Yeah. Um, it gets even cooler when you get to this tier. When you get to the next tier, it gets even sicker. Um, where, we need dual blades, we need dual blades right now, where are the Glavinus dual blades? Um, yeah, look at those, dude, those are so sick, man, they look like the spines on its back, it's literally impossible to see them, but that's how they appear on your back, dude, they're so sick, and then, um, does it have a CB, I believe it does have a, a cool CB, here, let's take a look at this, the CB also looks real cool, where's, uh, Glavinus? Yeah, dude, look at that. That's okay. Well, you can see it in the freaking picture. Look, look at that. Uh, go down, go down. Yeah, look at that, dude. That is that. That's fantastic, man. That is a cool as hell. Um, CB. And lastly, my favorite, the hammer. Oh, look at that, dude. It's hard to see with my armor. Uh, let me remove my. Hold on. All right, real quick, because I'll, sh I'll show you the CB again um, and the hammer, but let's go to the hammer. Dude, look at that. That is amazing. That That's one of the coolest hammers in the game. And then we'll go back to the CB. I'll show you the, I'll show you the dual blades and the CB um, because I, I was an idiot. So go down here. Um, those are cool, by the way. It's like husband wife uh, dual blades. Yeah, 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 you get the full effect now, you can see it. And then finally, we'll go and do the, uh, the CB. Where's the CB? Um... Whoo! Whoo! That is so freaking awesome. But yeah, with that all out of the way, our next objective is being to hunt for the Tigrex and the Brachydeo. So I'll just let you guys know right now. Um, we're going to be taking on Tigrex next, ep next episode. Brachydeos will be after that, because I'll tell you right now, I think Brachydeos is a genuine roadblock monster. I think that monster is significantly tougher than the ones that we fought uh, over the past couple episodes, and even in the next episode. I do not find Brachydeos nearly as uh, as easy as Tigrex. Tigrex, I think, is easier than Brachy. Brachy is a tough monster, but... I will also let you guys know, like I mentioned in this episode, I will be doing a lot of farming. I'll be farming for that Glavinous armor set. I will also be just hunting a ton of monsters in general, trying to upgrade all of our other weapons up in, uh, to match our current uh, hunter rank status and our position in the game and our place in the game. So yeah, just understand that that'll be what I'll be doing. And I'm going to take a look also and double check there isn't any other like optional quests for other NPCs that we have to do. Because if there are, I'll complete those next episode. And so... With us taking down the dreaded and one of my most favorite monsters, Glavinus, in this episode, our next objectives being Brachydeos as well as Tigrex, and we're taking on Tigrex in the next episode, that is it for this episode. So I thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends, and also follow me in the socials. Those will be linked in the description below. And with that, guys, I once again thank you so much for taking the time to watch this episode, and I will catch you all in the next one. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Take off from a break off from the weak minds. They can stay soft. You can change lives.